Easter. Our Mass this morning we pray for the living intention of Sister Letitia Lappin and all the first years here at St. Patrick's. The deceased intention will be for the repose of Richard Cardot and all buried in our Catholic Cemetery. We'll call out our Easter prayer with our resurrected Lord in the back. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Lord, we lift our hearts to you. Lord, we lift our eyes toward you and the Holy Eucharist. As the sun rises, may we carry the unity of faith that we share to every moment of this day, knowing that we are one, the risen Christ, in this sacred view. Lord, we lift our prayers to you as the dew falls and we breathe this morning in and know that like the earth, you sustain us, keep us, and work with us. Lord, we lift our voices to you in the celebration of this Mass. As we celebrate the greatest day, when Jesus rose from death, defeated sin, and made the world a brilliant resurrection life. And we ever live to celebrate the Holy Mass. Amen. And Lord, we may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth with great joy in your heart to celebrate this Easter night. Praise God. St. Patrick. You have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood, from every tribe and tongue and people and nation, and have made us into a kingdom, priests for God, hallelujah. We mark ourselves as the sign of God's great love for us, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Amen. 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 That God already has the niche carved out for us in heaven to become one of his saints. If only we would live this, these vocations that God has given us and live them faithfully. It's called minor sins. The times we have failed to thank God for our particular vocation, the times we have failed to ask for the grace to live that vocation for the glory of God the Father. I confess to Almighty God.
So now I tell you, have nothing to do with these men. Let them go. For if this endeavor or this activity is of human origin, it will destroy itself. But if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy them. You may even find yourselves fighting against God. They were persuaded by him. After recalling the apostles, they had them flogged. Ordered them to stop speaking in the name of Jesus and dismissed them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. And all day long, both at the temple and in their homes, they did not stop teaching and proclaiming the Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? Alleluia. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. Alleluia. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. Alleluia. He asked the question, how did I get here? 
And this is the same question that he asked when he first entered hell. It is the first question he asked when he, Dante first entered purgatory. How did I get here? But Beatrice answers the question differently. Now that he's in heaven, than when Virgil answered the question when Dante entered hell or purgatory. She says, you should wonder no more at the way you have risen to heaven. You should wonder no more than you wonder at why a river flows down a mountainside or a flame leaps up from the ground. Beatrice says, it is the divine will which calls his creation to himself. That God will that Dante should become like God. That God wanted Dante to spend eternity with himself even before he created Dante. That was God's desire. Even before Dante was created, God wanted him in heaven. I don't know about you, but that brings great peace to my restless soul. To know that God would like for me designed to be placed on a specific spot on the mantelpiece of the altar of God in heaven. I think of St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, where there are niches carved inside and outside, upper level and lower level, into the walls of the basilica. And these niches are designed to hold the statue of the saint. The niches on the inside of the basilica are for the saints who were the founders of religious orders. And so when I went to Rome in 1996, I actually was privileged to witness a giant crane inside St. Peter's, a crane as big as the one that they replaced the roof on in Salem. That big crane inside St. Peter's Lifting a statue of St. Mother Gabrini into a spot, into a niche on the second level of the right transept of St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. Just think. That niche had stood empty for almost 400 years until St. Francis and Xavier you in his Catholic Church and assigned you Father Randy to celebrate the Eucharist for you every Friday morning in Maytown. God placed you under the shepherd's care of his only begotten son. It is the Father's will that you should become a great saint. Beatrice tells Dante we are carried by the power of the bowstring, which directs what it looses to a happy mark. So Dante gives us the image of the psalmist that we are an arrow hidden in the quiver of God. And when it comes time for us to be born, God takes you, the arrow, out of his quiver loads up his ball and shoots you towards your target. Yeah. 
Beatrice says. Now it's true that quite frequently, the creature, because he has the power to do so, he has his own intellect, he has his own will, each of us can follow our conscience or not. We can depart from the course that God has set us on, aimed us at. We can take another direction. But ultimately, God wants us for that. And so Beatrice says, like a bolt of lightning falling from a cloud can twist and turn towards the earth by false delights. Ultimately, the lightning falls to the earth, not by a direct path, which is how God would have us go, but by a convoluted path, perhaps one of all kinds of fits and starts. But the lightning bolt does go. some of the souls in the lowest spheres of heaven. Souls that didn't necessarily live their vocations the way God asked them to. But nonetheless, they believed that God's Son was present in the Eucharist. Body and blood, soul and divinity. And so these souls Well, to God with all our prayers and petitions. We thank God for our vocations and we ask that this Eucharist would help us order our wills, enlighten our intellects, and direct our conscience to live these vocations all for God's glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, pray for all the young people going to our Catholic schools mass in the Sterling Deanery this morning. That when Bishop Malloy celebrates the Eucharist for them, that these students may be loaded into the bowl of God, that the Almighty might shoot them toward heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, pray for the sick, whom we make a spiritual communion for, that they would begin their good health, and so live their vocations, thanking God for returning them to his altar and the Holy Mass. Pray especially for Nicole Weinberg, Richard Cook, Robert Weber, there we left the in the thicket and the sick of our families. We pray to the Lord. Lord. We pray that God would place our beloved dead in the special midst she has designed for them in heaven, because we celebrate the shoopers for their eternal repose. Pray especially for Richard Farah at this Mass. We turn rest for him, O Lord. Lord. May he rest in peace. Richard soul and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. We pray that the tiny body of our spiritually adopted baby would receive the grace of the shepherds. So we pray the bishop St. Paul Chamber. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, I love you very much. They give us the spirit of life to Jesus. The unborn baby that I am spiritually adopted was in the age of the Lord. We call out to our lady that she would always help us Stay on that path that God has set us on in our vocations. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, the Lord of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. We pray that in our prayer and fasting in the state of the Illinois State Legislature's growth and holiness. So we pray. Heavenly Father, we give us great hope by gifting us with the reversal of versus way. Bless the state of your life with good and holy leaders to guide and place us on the right path. We offer you our prayers and fasting, thanksgiving, and for this intention. Amen. Well, the blessing of the candles of the family of the Lord, the Holy Office.
Tu me disseste que eu sei que eu sim. Do teu fome, eu sinto mais lá. We ask that God would bestow upon us the light of faith and to preserve his light in our souls so that we may avoid evil, be as zealous in the performance of good works, and abhor nothing so much as the blindness and darkness of sin, selfishness, and evil. Relying on your goodness, O oh God, we humbly ask you, through the intercession of your servants, to you give your blessing to these papers and sanctify them with the light of your grace. May these candles help us to recognize your Son in the Eucharist. The whole holy hour taking place at the home of your courageous family, who have invited your son to come under their roof. We ask the blessing in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, we ask you to answer all of these prayers and to grant them to the Christ. Our will of God will increase you, but through goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be My brothers and sisters in Christ, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God and my Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of your saints, far better than all the souls of the church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you.
all gather here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well being, and paying their homage to the eternal God, living and true. We come in with those whose memory, memory, especially the glories of our Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew and all your saints. We ask that in their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this salvation of our service, that of your whole family, Lord, our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those who have chosen. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering. So the way when summer was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you the thanks, he said the blessing. He gave the chalice to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. And this, in memory, Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, 
You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them. Through him and with him and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and all by my teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul to tell me. Christ our Lord was given over for our transgressions and was raised again for our justification. Alleluia. Now we pray our spiritual communion, especially for uh, Dick and Mary and Carla, all our beloved dead. Pray for our spiritual father, our spiritual Dr. Lady, pray for all the parishioners at St. Patrick's Church who are used to partake of these Easter graces. Now, Jesus, I believe that you are present. Thank you. 
Jesus, I thought I bore you. You'll come to me. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray. Those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, lives and reigns forever. 